so I had something else that I was going to talk about and now I'm preoccupied with this. Interdisciplinary approaches to peace is the proceedings of a conference that I organised in Australia in 1984. It was in Queensland at a beautiful tropical resort with a swimming pool and we had 45 speakers. The topic was interdisciplinary approaches to peace and it was divided into peace in the individual, peace in the family, peace in the society, peace in the nation, peace in the world. And it was the baby, the brainchild of myself and John Dorosky, the national leader in Australia at the time. And the publication has the name of Professor John Frodsham, who was the president of the Professor's World Peace Academy. I was the secretary of PWPA, Professor's World Peace Academy in Australia at that time. And I basically did all the work. John Dorosky and I met regularly and I did all the organizing and preparation for the conference. For this conference, we got funding from, from Hugh Morgan, was that his name? The, the millionaire, the, the mining magnate in, um, in Australia. I think it was Broken Hill Proprietary Limited. And our scientist, Professor Mark Coure from Macquarie University in Sydney, organised funding for our travellers, our speakers, to fly to Queensland to the conference. And then Hugh Morgan discovered or got some bad press about who PWPA really was and then withdrew his support. I believe he did pay for all of the travel but somehow withdrew his support so I remember buying myself a pair of high heels and going to his office in Melbourne in Collins Street I think it was they had a high-rise building in the middle of the city and I just rang and went up there and demanded to talk to him and they told me he wasn't available so I didn't get to talk to him so I don't know what he knew in the end but that we actually got people coming to the conference venue and I was so amazed how Corralban Valley really protected us. We were the customers, we had paid for the conference and they did not let these people in who wanted to come and disrupt our whole conference. It was an amazing conference, it was really good. I wanted to say a few other things about this publication because my name doesn't appear anywhere in there. I'm just putting this in LinkedIn on my bio as the editor because I published it. But in those days, the foot folk didn't get any credit for anything. So um, I'm just making my claim here. And actually, this hasn't, I don't think it's even available anywhere. So I'm thinking of scanning it just to share it. Now, I'm already past three minutes, so that's enough for today. See you next time.